This is maybe not all that unsurprising. Uh, regulators are often weigh all kinds of things. Do you expect any kind of real substance to come out of this particular antitrust move by the government? I mean, I think it's going to be expensive for Google, but the good news is Google has a lot of money to pay. Uh, you know, the reality is that that we've seen an FTC and SEC and the judiciary, they do not love big tech, right? They feel like there's a lot of antitrust there. They have allies, allies like the Elizabeth Warrens of the world. And so it's not shocking that this is happening. I personally wonder if they're kind of fighting the last war. The reality is that Google has a lion's share of search, but at the same time, a lot of people don't go to a search engine anymore. They go to Pinterest. They go to a meta product. They go to, to YouTube, which is a Google property, right? They're looking other places for that search sort of start. So I, I don't know how impactful uh, this is uh, in terms of consumer behavior, but I think it will impact a lot what Google does from here. Sarah, this, uh, this administration, uh, the Biden administration, the Biden White House and its Justice Department, uh, even its FTC with Lena Khan, they've had a good amount of success, if you want to call it that, against kind of corporate monopolistic or antitrust type behavior. If that momentum continues, would you expect there to be any kind of a further push by the government to capitalize on some of that momentum against a power like Google and Alphabet? I think it's telling that, you know, Trump has has declared that if he's reelected, the first thing he's going to do is fire Gary Gensler, which don't think that's how that works. But uh, I'm not the one to tell him that. I think the reality is that we're going to be it'll be interesting to see, especially out of the Harris campaign, you know, do they stick to this sort of super anti big tech approach or is there a little bit more of a conversation and a relationship there with with tech again like there was under Obama so I think that through November there will be a lot of question marks around this that being said the government tends to get their guy and so this is going to cost Google a lot we probably will see some changes in terms of how AdWords operates you know on the epic game side we're certainly going to see changes in in how the app stores operate and and that's not necessarily Necessarily bad. I just don't know that it's going to be this sort of complete 180. This is also a scenario where many of these big tech companies are coming under fire because they are very much in the public view. They make consumer facing products that we all use on a daily basis. Can you explain to us a little bit about how you view things developing with regard to why this kind of a move with consumer facing very high profile products is something that this administration wants to pursue? I think that there is a, an un, uneasy feeling that these companies are too big and have too much power, um, that their market caps are too big, that they control sort of too much of what we do on the internet, which is everything we do. Um, and, and at the same time, there's not necessarily a ton of understanding of both how the consumer is using these products, as well as sort of what it would look like to kind of shift that, that sort of dominance that they have. I mean, this is, Google's a product that doesn't charge consumers. And so it's different than the monopoly of your where it was, hey, you know, your price fixing and the prices are too high. It's, it's a different situation. That being said, I think that Google, the most interesting thing that Google's doing right now is not on the consumer side. I think it's it's their AI business, you know, that that original white paper that that launched all of this gen AI craze that has propelled NVIDIA to such heights came out of Google. And a lot of those people still work there or have come back and they have deep minds. So, you know, I could also see a little bit of a, a pause and a shift away from sort of turbocharging that ad business that keeps getting Google in trouble and a focus more on that sort of the Google cloud and, and what they're doing in AI, because I think there's a huge opportunity there for them. And regulators certainly are not ready yet to regulate in the AI space. So maybe they get a few years breathing room there.